Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G. This is Just Playing Tech. Today we're going to do a beginner's guide video on Ubuntu, the most popular Linux distribution out there. Let's get into it. Again, if you like beginner's guide videos like this, please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos, alright? So, things about Ubuntu. Number one, you might have noticed this. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distribution. You almost definitely came over it. You have almost definitely come, over, come across Ubuntu if you have been looking at Linux on the internet. You've almost definitely heard of Ubuntu. And that... Ubuntu is the distribution that most people like to start out with. So, if you're new to Linux, Ubuntu might be one of the best Linux distributions for you to start with, okay? So, here we got, um, what desktop interface does Ubuntu use? I highly recommend that before you watch this video, please check out this video, A Beginner's Guide to Linux as a Whole, so that you understand everything that we talk about in this video here, okay? So, Ubuntu 17.10 and below use the Unity desktop environment which, cre which was created by Canonical, the company that makes Ubuntu. Now, um, here's how Ubuntu releases work. Basically, they name it for the year. There's two releases each year and Blank.04, for example, 18.04 was the first one in 2018. 18.10 was the second one in 2018, and so on, stuff like that. That is how they name their releases, and they usually have a code name such as Trusty Tar, Bionic Beaver, Focal Fossa, something like that. So they usually have code names, but that's how they um. Name their releases. So Ubuntu 17.10 and below use the Unity desktop environment. And then Ubuntu 18.04 and up use the GNOME desktop environment. So, uh, yeah. And pretty much anything Ubuntu, anything Ubuntu 16.04 and up is supported mainstream right now. Um, Ubuntu 12.04 Precise Pangolin and... Ubuntu 14.04 Trusty Tar are now in extended maintenance, so you can sign up to get extended security maintenance for till um, I think till 2021 for Ubuntu 14.04, and I'm I think I'm not sure about Ubuntu 12.04. So, all right, so. Another thing is the package manager. You need to know which package manager you're using in your Linux distribution. I will do a future video on beginner's guide to package managers such as apt, yum, package tools, etc. So, um, apt is probably the best package manager that I'd recommend for beginners. It comes with all the repositories you need, comes with tons of packages, while as other package managers like yum you might have to install additional repositories and if you're new to Linux you might not want to do that so I would recommend going with Ubuntu Debian or Linux Mint at the start rather than starting off with CentOS or Fedora or even Slackware because you usually have to configure your package managers on those Linux distributions whereas Ubuntu Linux Mint or Debian just good to go alright so it uses the apt package manager apt advanced package tools which is the same package manager that debian uses ubuntu is based off debian so um, you could also get debian that's also a really good linux distribution for starters debian supports 32 bit in its latest release ubuntu 18.04 bionic beaver was the last version of ubuntu to support 32 bit However, you may notice that there are no 32-bit images when you go to download it. So, you'd have to download Ubuntu 16.04 and 
and then upgrade to Ubuntu 18.04 on your 32-bit computer. But GNOME 3 is a really heavy desktop environment, so you got to remember, if you have a really old computer, GNOME 3 is probably not going to run very well. Um, you might just want to stick with 16.04 or 14.04. Okay, but if you have a 64-bit PC, it's most likely going to run GNOME 3 at full speed super quickly, and you can probably just get Ubuntu 20.04 Focal Fossa long-term support. Now, long-term support is like some might be codenamed LTS, so Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, 14.04 LTS, 16.04 LTS, 18.04 LTS, 20.04 LTS, the list goes on and on. Um, LTS means long-term support, <coughs> sorry, and um, so long-term support means it's supported for five years, say Ubuntu 12.04 came out in 2012, support ended in 2017. Ubuntu 14.04 support ended in 2019. Ubuntu 16.04 support will end in 2021. So that's that is pretty much how it all works. So uh, LTS release is supported for five whole years, rather than the usual six months <laughs> or something like that. So I'd recommend getting a long-term support version. Um, so yeah. How how can you tell long-term support versions versus the regular only six-month support versions? STM, short-term support, I guess, whatever. Um, long-term support is basically every two numbers. So it's always a dot oh four. It's never a dot ten. It's always a dot oh four. And it skips to and it skips a number every time. It's always an even number. So 12.04 is long-term support, 14.04 is long-term support, 16.04 is long-term support, 18.04 is long-term support, 20.04 is long-term support, 22.04 will be long-term support when it comes out, so it's kind of like that. Always do an even number .04. Even number .04 is a long-term support version. It will usually say LTS. So. I would definitely recommend long-term support for you beginners. Okay, so Ubuntu is maintained by Canonical and the Linux community. Canonical, the company that makes Ubuntu, releases its own updates and whatnot for it. The community also does the same. They will release updates and software and a ton of other stuff for Ubuntu. So, while well, Canonical will stop supporting Ubuntu after five years if it's a long-term support release, then um, the community can still add on to it. So extended maintenance, or ESM, which is what 12.04 and 14.04 are in right now, the ESM is community-continued support for security for those versions of Ubuntu. So, yes, that is something good to keep in mind. And that is pretty much it. All you really need to know about Ubuntu, it's probably one of the best Linux distributions for beginners. I'd highly recommend Ubuntu if you're a beginner. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you tomorrow.